Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. This is for June the 11th to the 17th. An amazing week because we're going to be finishing off the energies of the balsamic moon. So that actually started for you on Sunday. So that's going to carry forth and then on Thursday we have the new moon in Gemini which is extra exciting and I'll tell you more about that later. Then on Sunday we move into the crescent moon which is asking us to refine our intentions. So as always, there is a lot involved, but it's basically winding down and taking care of yourself in preparation for the new moon. So let's see what is in store for you this week. I'm actually going to be using the Shadowscapes Tarot today, which is super duper exciting. I say that a lot. I think as I watch a lot of American YouTubers and they say super duper, even though I would never say that in real life. How crazy is that? Anyways, so yeah, lots involved. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that if you are new to the MK Love fam, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. We have such a beautiful community here and you'll be able to tell if you're brand new. Just read the comments below and you'll see all of my beautiful MK Love fam just replying and like, you guys are just beautiful, like literally from the inside out, and I love responding to you. So let's get on to today's reading. Before I get into it, I just need to let you know that this is just a general reading. So just take from this reading what truly feels best for you. This is just a general reading, so not every card is going to resonate with you. There may be times where every card does, and then other times you're like, Mel, only one card, you know, makes sense to me. That is completely fine. But if you would love detailed clarity, clarity that is specific to you, then that's when you need to book yourself a private reading. So let's just see what we need to know. All right, angels, what do my MK Love fam need to know? June 11th to the 17th. One card for clarity. There it is. <laughs> First card we got is the Nine of Pentacles. This is pure, delicious goodness, deep rooted goodness. So can you see how the tree has literally grown through the piano? So this is something, you know, these are seeds that you have planted a long time ago. Either you are, you know, reaping the rewards even though we're not in the receiving phase of the moon we can receive at any time or maybe this is something i just feel like this is just your happy place pentacles can be abundance maybe you're celebrating oh okay maybe some of you are like celebrating the goodness in which you have like the seeds that you have sown and you're reaping the benefits these could be seeds that you have literally sown like maybe years ago like think of it in terms of if you're like a content creator or like an entrepreneur and you've created content for such a long time but now you're seeing like the fruits of your labor so to speak I don't know maybe you have now have extra abundance to afford to take yourself away in a beautiful hotel you know just to celebrate that time to really nurture yourself I don't know this could be so many things to so many of you. When I see a piano, I think of music. Music is literally pure positive energy. It's like maybe you're combining, it's like combining, you know, it's just different forms of, of love. It's different forms of this abundance. I don't know, this can mean so many different things. To me, what I see personally, it's just like letting your heart and your soul sing and, you know, just really take in time to like really reflect to see how far you have come music is just already vibrating the frequency of love and a little side note i'm actually classically trained on the piano how crazy is that my mom is actually a, a piano teacher and i was like two exams away from becoming a teacher but it wasn't in alignment with where i wanted to be long term Okay, let's get clarity on that card. That's a very beautiful card to start with. Oh my gosh, pentacles. Pentacles is abundance in any form. I feel like some of you are uh, like celebrating in a way that maybe you haven't celebrated before because you're at a new level of abundance. But in saying that the balsamic moon is taking time to reflect with gratitude um, and really taking time to heal. So maybe you're able to do that in a different way than you had before. 
Maybe you bought yourself something that you probably would have never bought before, but now that you have sown your seeds, you now have, I don't know, maybe something is more meaningful you to you now. Whoa, with that card is flipping crazy. Ooh, now we've got the Nine of Swords. As soon as I pulled that card, the first thing I, I heard was, don't look back in anger, I heard you say. So it's like, these are like your old demons, and it's like you're looking up, and it's like, um, you're not going to let this... It's like you've come a long way. That's how I feel. You've come a long way. You've started really like learning to master the mind. And you know, you have like the wounds on your chest. Can you see that? You had these wounds on your chest and you're like, I am so grateful I went through all of that bullshit because it has literally made me the person that I am today. And I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Like when I see the, those scars on the chest, it reminds me of you know, all the hardships that I have been through. I say thank you so much to my ex who treated me like a, you know, who I allowed to treat me like a piece of shit for four years and brainwashed me, who I allowed, I have to choose my words carefully, who I allowed to brainwash me because I didn't have a self-love bone in my body. I allowed to brainwash me to believe that I was useless and I was not worthy and all of the things under the sun. And I say thank you to my dad for showing me the importance of what it, it means to truly love yourself because I've seen what happens when you don't. The contrast can also be one of your greatest teachers. So no, no matter where you are, you're looking back and it's like you've come a long way. Like you've got two nines here, the nine of pentacles and the nine of swords. So it's like you have come a long way, a long way in terms of where you are in abundance financially, who you are as a person who you're surrounding yourself with. This could be literally your career. What does that look like for you? Mentally, you have come a long way too. You know, think back to the person that you were a year ago. You won't, you can't even compare those two people because they're just such, no, not compare, that's the wrong word. You won't even, you don't even recognize the person that you were. Like I don't even recognize the person that I was. Like this time last year, I was literally preparing to build my website to launch my, um, um, oh gosh, what is it? My private angel readings, you know? And I look back now and I'm like, you know what? I'm so grateful that I did that because it's led me to where I am now. Like, I don't even... Ugh. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about me. I find this so hard not to talk about me. This is about you. Anyways, so you've come a long way and you're at a really beautiful chapter. You're at a really beautiful stage. Maybe this is what's happening in the balsamic moon. It's like you're reflecting. You're like, you know what? I've been through hell but I'm still standing. Um, there has to be a song come through. I feel like there's gonna be like an anthem. <laughs> Normally I get anthems from Tina Arena. Ah, no it's not, it's not today. It's from Demi Lovato, Warrior. Ah, okay, thanks. the lover's card. What does this mean for you? This is like deep romantic bliss. Maybe these, like, maybe this card here is like, you know what, maybe these nine represent all the heartaches and the failures and all the, these low vibrational relationships that shape the person that you are and now you're ready to love. Or maybe you are in love. Maybe you're ready to meet the person. That's so exciting, the lover's card. That is like pure, unconditional, high vibrational love. That is conscious, that's a conscious relationship. Someone that is meeting you energetically on where you are right now. Think back to every relationship that you have ever had in your life, either romantic, platonic, business, whatever it may be. You were an energetic match to that person or that situation. And now you're attracting something that is like on your level that is high vibrational. So this is to do with relationships. This is a lot to do with you rebuilding yourself to get to a place in which you want to attract what you want. I know a lot of you are single and you actually want to manifest new love and romance into your life and maybe you're ready. Maybe you are ready for that and now you're like singing your praises. You know, you've you've done your, maybe this is like you taking care of your energy, like doing your self-love practices, making yourself feel amazing. 
and you're like reflecting back and you're like, I've come such a long way. And it's like, you know what? I'm a flipping beautiful catch. Like I'm amazing. I am so amazing. And I am ready and I'm open and I'm receptive to this new love and this new abundance that is literally coming my way. Or maybe this is your relationship with your partner or your husband or your wife is taking on a different level. Maybe you have been through these challenges and you know they've made you stronger. They haven't broken you apart. Ah, this is so exciting. Oh, and then the other card that just flew out just then is the Hierophant. I never know how to read this card. This card always tricks me up. So let's just see what I see. I actually have to look at it first. I see deep rooted love, success, using your intuition. I just see the third eye. I see like you're also like, but you're a tree. It's also autumn leaves though. Can you see like there's autumn leaves are falling. So it's like things haven't so like, you know, we go through phases. Maybe you're at this new growth chapter or you're shedding these layers of things that don't serve you. Who? I just see he's a very spiritual being, very wise, very like one to think for himself and follow his intuition. That's just what I see. Like, look at, can you see like the third eye? Does it focus? Are you focusing like here it's like the third eye and when I see that it's just intuition it's like tapping into your intuition what do you need to to do to move forth and to grow and prosper it's very grounded though okay what else do we need to know maybe this is I feel like this one is for the new moon I don't feel like this is for I feel like the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, so it was like these two cards, I feel like these two are to do with the Balsamic Moon. And then come the New Moon, I feel like this is this, this Lover's card and the Hierophant. I feel like these two are the start of those ones. So let's just get further clarity and see what else we need to know. Clarity for the New Moon in Gemini. Did I tell you it's in Gemini? And it's in 22 degrees and 44 minutes. Two, two, four, four. Two, two is partnerships. So that's like the lover's card. And four, four is like, to me, I see like stability. Ooh, what else do we need to know? Well, stability, we've got the Hierophant. Like deep rooted success. What do we need to know for the new moon in Gemini, angels? My MK them. New moon in Gemini. In five, four, well, thank you. Ooh, we got the judgment card. So this is like, is that the balance? It's like, just let those, let, let all that. I'm trying not to swear. I'm really working on that. It's like letting those things that don't serve you just go and let it transform into these beautiful butterflies. And she's like playing it. Is it a trumpet? She's like vibrating on the frequency of love. It's just like, let all that judgment go of what no longer serves you. Let the judgment of like how you felt about this experience up here or how other people or how no choose my words carefully how you allowed other people to make you feel you know you may be on a journey that people don't understand but you need to find your soul tribe you need to find people that truly make you feel amazing if you're on my instagram go and read the comments and have a look at different mk love fam's accounts you know i do it all the time i'm like oh my god yes i love her she's amazing or you know oh maybe she could do this just read the comments even in the comment section here find your soul tribe you need to find people that make you feel amazing maybe there's a lot of judgment that you have bestowed upon other people Maybe you don't see things the way other people do, but is this, I would just keep going back to this card here. What is your intuition telling you? Is it in alignment with your true authentic self? Or are you telling yourself porky pies, you know? 
Can we have clarity for the new moon in Gemini? All that thought. <laughs> and then we got, ooh, the Knight of Cups. It's like following your in, your intuition, following this emotion. This you get in a massive flow of. Whereas it's like the horse is like in water. He's like trying to get to this beautiful cup here and it's in its reach and it's so close. He's like, I'm gonna get there. Um, and nothing's gonna like get in my way. I see like this, mm -mm -mm, don't go there girlfriend. Like, you know, nothing's gonna stop me. It's like you're a train and you're just like, you're on a mission. It's like nothing's going to stop you. No matter what, if this judgment comes in, either if this is your judgment, like this is your ego or this is other people around you, you're like, no, stop it. You know, I'm going to raise my vibration. I'm going to silence you out because I am where I am and it's okay. I am amazing. I am fabulous. I'm manifesting this beautiful relationship into my life. I'm manifesting a deeper connection with my, my husband or my wife or my partner, whatever this looks like for you. Ooh, the night is like fast moving energies and the cups is emotion. I don't know, maybe there's a situation that's going to like, well, we are moving, well not just yet, but we're going to be moving into Mars retrograde, which it can be a little bit hairy, but we're not in that energy just yet. So I feel like you just need to follow your heart. That's what I feel, which is interesting because, you know, when you follow your intuition, it's always gonna lead you to your highest good. Ooh, so that's interesting. Let's get more clarity. More clarity on the new moon. So I feel like this is the lover's card, the hierophant, judgment. So that's three major arcanas. Three major arcanas for the new moon. Love, judgment, and I feel like the hierophant is just deep-rooted stability and intuition. What do we need to know? Maybe like this new level of like love in which you're moving into. Maybe that sweeps you off your feet so much that you're like, get so swept up that you you need to stay grounded because you know, that can totally be true. The lovers can't, I always feel like that's romantic, but it, this could also be this love relationship with yourself. Is this new project that you're going to be working on for the new moon, is it going to sweep you off your feet so much that you're, you're not grounded and you're not like making decisions from a place of love? You're not tapping into your intuition because you're like, I got to do this, 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 and this, you know, because the Knight of Cup is like a lot of energy moving on with your emotions. So I feel like you really, really, really need to stay grounded during this time. By the way, I'm going to be holding a live Q&A tea time for the new moon in Gemini, which is going to be at 7 a.m. on Thursday. So that's going to be June the 14th, which is going to be very, very close to the actual time of the new moon. Oh, this card just came up. Oh my gosh, we got the devil card. I really don't like this, the naming. The devil is like rebirth. Is it? No, that's the death card. Ah, and then I heard Katy Perry's song, Jane to the Rhythm, are we torn, I don't even know the words, dun, dun. Step, dun, 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 dun. so constantly, dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. Chain to the rhythm. This could be chain, chain to so many different things. Like, look at this card. Like, in particular, look at this here. It's like chained. It's like you're not really chapped. Like, look above. What do you see when you see this card here? I shouldn't laugh, but I just heard mum teaching someone the song A Million Dreams from The Greatest Showman. It's like, what are your dreams? Don't become enslaved to the system. Don't become enslaved to things that don't serve your highest good. Are you in a relationship where you're trapped? 
are you? Are you in a relationship that doesn't serve your highest good? A romantic, a platonic? What are your friends like? Are you surrounding yourself with people that, you know, don't allow you to grow and prosper? Are you... I just see, like, what does this situation mean to you? I just feel like this is thoughts getting in your head and swaying you from your path. This could be fear. <laughs> That's what I have allowed to overtake me this week, which is something which I'm like, I just need a holiday. I just need a holiday. The universe is like, three more sleeps, Mel, three more sleeps. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. <sighs> okay, I want, let's get another card to replace that. So if we conquer this, you know, this negativity and this fear, what's going to come as a result of it, angels? Like, Let's get a card to replace the devil. So if we conquer the fear, what is, whoa, what is coming for us? <laughs> Death, rebirth. Holy crap. <laughs> We've got, sorry, my leg's getting dead. We've got one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards in this reading. This is like unheard of. So the devil, it's like conquering the fear. You conquer the fear and you're going to re be reborn into this beautiful, pure, positive energy. But you have to conquer the fear. You have to conquer the fear. If you don't conquer the fear, then you're never going to grow and bloom. And you're not going to become your truest potential. You're going to be stagnant and you're going to be boring. And you're going to wish when you're like 100 and dying that you're like, I wish I did this. It's like, why didn't you? I did a poll on Instagram the other day and I was asking you guys something about fear, like what's holding you back? And so many of you have said that you have been stuck for such a long time and I'm like, what the heck? I get angry at myself for being stuck for like a couple of days and I was like, Mel, pull yourself out of this rut. You need to pull yourself out of this rut. This judgment, I'm like going to be like, Ugh! you need to sort this out. You really need to sort this out and you need to become deep rooted in what you need to do to make yourself feel sane. Let me give you an example. I've noticed for like the past couple of days that I've been caught in this fear. You know, I was like, okay, I'm working on my side hustle. Yes, I got re-registered as a primary school teacher in Queensland in Australia. I'm like, okay, that's great. Now I need to do my applications so I can teach in both a Catholic and state schools. As I'm going through the applications, my old hard drive was completely wiped except all the folders of everything that I needed were there, but there was no, no documents inside and I needed them to help me rewrite the applications. I needed the, like all of this stuff. And I'm like, okay, is this my fear coming in or is this the universe giving me a divine intervention? And like, that's where I've kind of been this week. I've been like all over the shop and I think I'm gonna get my clarity from taking time out in the balsamic moon. But I feel like this, you really need to, you really need to take care of yourself in that balsamic moon. I take four days off social media. I will not be responding to you when this video comes live. I won't be responding until Thursday after I've done the live Q and A tea time. You know, I think this is such a powerful time. I didn't realize how powerful this time is becoming. Whoa, holy moly. The death, the devil is like conquering, it's like conquering, I'm gonna show you this way. It's like this one is like literally conquering this fear, this bullshit that you have bestowed upon yourself. You need to sort yourself out, otherwise, you are not gonna get where you want to be. Like, you are not gonna be where you wanna be at the end of the year if you allow this to continue. You need to take charge of this. You then need to, you know, rebuild your foundations. Let all the old stuff that doesn't serve you go. You need to let it go because if you don't, if you don't clean up your vibration, you're bringing that energy into your new chapter. You know, think of it as if like, I always think of it like, oh, all these cards are falling. I always think of it in terms of like um, relationships. If you still have stuff with your ex in your house, there is no way you're going to attract a lifelong partner into your relationship if you're still reading the old chapter. Close that old chapter. You need to start writing a new one. And I'm getting a bit like cranky, not only with you, but more so with myself because I was like, you know, you can do this. You can do this. You are amazing. You have so much potential. And whatever is holding you back, you need to like literally journal. <laughs> 
take yourself out in the morning, make yourself a stovetop chai or a coffee or whatever floats your boat or make a hot lemon and ginger tea. Take yourself out in Mother Nature in the morning and just start journaling. Like just start journaling until there's nothing left. Google the term morning pages and you'll understand what I'm talking about because there needs to be massive change and transformation. How do you do that? You change your thoughts. You change your habits. When you change what you've done, you get different results. And that's what the angels and the universe is trying to tell you for this time is that you have a lot of work to do. You're still reading your old chapter. That's what I'm feeling. And you're not, it's, you're delaying it. That's how I feel with these last two cards. You are delaying it and you really need to pay attention. Yeah, all of this happened for a reason. You have these battle wounds. <laughs> uh, these battle scars, don't think you know. Guy Sebastian battle wounds or battle scars, I can't remember. That's a f flipping good song. Yeah, you have these scars for a reason and they made you who you are. You don't need to keep reliving the past. Okay, what do we need to know for the crescent moon? <laughs> so then this is the time when we are renewing, no, refining our intentions and allowing the universe to guide you. So this is just Sunday, so this is just one day. There it is. Okay, the Knight of Swords, taking back your power. So once you start to heal, your energy will start to move again. The sword, is it the swords? The swords is like the passion. You're gonna find your passion and your fire back once you heal. You need to do this healing. You need to take different results. Like for me, I'm like, okay, how can I get, how can I get myself out of this rut? Okay. I'm gonna go away for four days. I'm gonna take myself off social media for that time. Hallelujah. As much as I love it, it's like a love. I wouldn't say hate because I love my community on there, but I, I have to limit myself because it's not good for my mental health. That's why you probably see, saw that I unfollowed like 300 people the other day. Anyways, so I'm like, okay, what else can I do to help myself? Um, and then I saw, I was thinking about this yoga, um, class. I was like, okay, they have a two week trial for $29 for unlimited classes. I'm going to try that. And there's another studio that's doing the same thing. So I'm going to do both of them, even though my intuition and my angels have given me a lot of signals that this is the one I need to try first. And then I probably won't need to try the other one, which is crazy because after I finished, um, having, um, a tea date with Peter this morning, as I was driving home, I saw a car with signage for the yoga studio that I have been told that I need to go to. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing for this, this month, well, the next moon phase. Ooh, okay. Whoa, I was not expecting that. I think that's it. Okay. So let's just do a quick recap. Okay. So for the balsamic moon, we're going to be letting our hearts sing. We're going to be doing the things that makes us feel amazing, makes us feel grounded. And we're going to be reflecting back to see how far we've come because we've come a long way. We've come such a long way. And you know, everything happens for a reason. And just say, thank you, thank you, thank you universe for everything that has happened because it is leading me to where I need to be. And then for the new moon in Gemini, we've got a lot of cards. So. We have the lover's card. This could be, you know, rekindling with something that sets our soul on fire. This could be creating a deeper relationship with your partner. You need to stay grounded and you need to trust your intuition for this new chapter because things can get a little bit hairy. There could be some judgment that flies up. You know, this could be judgment of yourself. I'm not good enough to do this. I can't do this. Or other people getting in your ears saying, that's never gonna work, you know? <laughs> This is crazy because when I knew, when I got out of this four year long term relationship, I actually booked a one way ticket to England. I never really even left Australia, but I knew I had to do it. I had all of these signs and synchronicities. I've spoken a little bit more about that in other videos. Anyway, if you have any other questions, you can ask me in Q&A tea time. And, um, and my family said, oh, I'll give you like two months and you'll be back. Mm -mm two years and I came back and it was the best thing I ever did and no one understood what I was doing. That's the same thing as me being an entrepreneur. My family don't understand what I'm doing. 
they're like, what does she do all day? You know, I'm creating an empire and I'm like, I am where I am and it's okay. I see the long-term vision, they don't. And you know, what's truly beautiful is that deep within my soul, my intuition is telling me, this is the path that I need to go. I have to raise my vibration. I had to do a lot of it this morning because there was a bit of contrast when I came home. And it's like, okay, you know, people aren't on the same path as you, but that's a beautiful thing because if everyone was, it would be a boring world. Embrace the judgment, embrace it, you know? Because it's kind of like, you, I always think of it like, when I see success, like I am I am already successful. I have you, my beautiful MK Love fam, that watch every single one of my flipping videos, you know, and you write the most beautiful comments and I just love you. I was talking to Peter about that this morning. I was like, you know, I just love you so much and I just want to spend every hour of the day with you. And I'm like, but I also love my MK Love fam too. Like, I'm like, ah. Peter's a little bit higher because he's my favorite person in the whole wide world, but I'm like, my beautiful MK Love fam is like not far behind. Like, anyways, so you need to stay grounded. Don't worry about the judgment, okay? You have to stay grounded. So that's doing your self-love practices. Download my self-love starter kit, you know? Because these emotions are gonna come and these emotions are gonna be like whip you up into a frenzy, you know? This could be highs or it could be lows. You have to be prepared for that. You need to stay grounded because fear is gonna come in and be like, you're not good enough. You're a piece of shit. And it's like, no, I'm not. I'm amazing. <laughs> and once you conquer that fear and you say fear, you know, think of it as Elizabeth Gilbert, as she says in Big Magic, you know, fear can come on the road trip. He can sit in the back seat, but hey, he ain't touching the steering wheel. He's not going to be telling us which direction to go here. And he is not controlling the music. So you need to be like, fear, shut up. And how are you going to stop fear from coming up is you need to do your self love practices. Why do you think I harp on about this every single video? And I'm telling myself the same thing, you know? <laughs> And then you're gonna start conquering things. You're gonna like get your, you know, spread your wings. Ah, oh, that beautiful song by Mariah Carey. Spread your wings and prepare to fly. You and me, come on butterfly. Oh, fly. Da, 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 da. Butterfly. Yeah, you are that beautiful butterfly and you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You have to conquer the fear first. You have to conquer the fear. How are you going to do that? I don't know. What's coming up for you? You have to conquer the fear. You have to conquer the fear. I think that's what I, I think that's what the message is today. You have to conquer the fear. It's a rebirth. It's a new chapter. How do you feel? How do you feel? What's going on in your head right now? Can you comment below? I would love to hear from you. Ooh, so much going on. So much going on. A lot in the heart chakra. My heart chakra is like kind of like indigestion right now. That's how I feel. Let's get one more card to summarize this whole week. One more card, angels. One card to summarize and bring together this whole week from June the 11th to the 17th. What's one card we need to know? One. There it is. Thank you very much. <gasps> The Wheel of Fortune, everything's gonna work out. Everything is gonna work out. Wheel of Fortune is on your side. I'm gonna call it Wheel of Fortune, I think, this week. Not conquer fear, because that could be a little bit negative, and I always like to turn a positive spin onto it. Fortune is on your side. You have to conquer fear so you can get to this delicious goodness. Oh my gosh, my love. Woo! I feel good. You know, like, I just felt like we didn't finish on the right note. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, whoa. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana cards. They're like massive life changing cards. This is a massive week, my love. I'm so excited for you. Please join me on the live this Thursday from 7 a.m. to, I don't know how long I'm going to chat for. I won't be going any longer than an hour, but yeah, 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So I'll put on the screen right now what time that is, no matter where you live in the world. Wow. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Amazing. Oh my God, this is so exciting. 
it's like you're breaking down your walls and you're going to get there. You need to put in your structures and plates. You need to do the self-love practices to get to where you need to be. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I appreciate you so flipping much. If I could reach through the screen and cuddle you and just say, I love you, I love you, I love you. It's all working out. It's like you got the Wheel of Fortune. It doesn't get much better than that. Like that is a truly, a truly beautiful card. Please let me know what is coming up for you because I will come back and I will respond once I come back from holiday. And yeah, please take time to re recalibrate your soul. You know, everything's working out. Just know coming into this new moon that you have some work to do. You need to do your self-love practices. Maybe you need to add a self-love practice like me going back to yoga. I've been talking about it for so long and I was like, you know, it's not a priority financially. Yeah, it is a priority because I'm going cr I go crazy when I don't have those structures in place, you know? My mental health is the most important and yeah. Don't worry about the judgment and the fear, you're gonna conquer it. You're gonna conquer it by putting these self-love practices in place. And yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, can you hashtag Wheel of Fortune? Wheel of Fortune. Oh my God, hashtag Wheel of Fortune. And that way I know that you've got to the end. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing week. And please join me for Thursday on the live. So that's most of you. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, that's on your Wednesday. And yeah. I love you so much. Have an amazing week and I'll talk to you on Thursday. Oh my gosh, it's my first YouTube live. How flipping exciting. Fingers crossed. The angels bless us with beautiful, strong internet connection because that would be amazing. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon.